I recently cleared up my kids' room and we threw away some of the uh, toys which were no more in use. And I found this box. It had very few contents, so we threw it away. And this is a very sturdy piece of cardboard box, a strong one, and a very good shape indeed. So it has got two pieces the base and the cover. And I'm going to use this together. Like I'll put the base inside the cover such that it forms a container. Now I want to use this piece of cardboard box which could have been used for keeping things or just would have been discarded but I want to make a tray out of it rather an organizer tray something to hold things in it. I don't want to uh, lift and carry it around but I want it to uh, stay at a place a table or a place to and hold things in it and make things look organized and uh, prettier but this just in itself looks just a box so in order to make it like a tray i want to make some handles through it so that it looks like more like a tray i've tried drawing a handle here it's easy i just marked at the same distance on left side as on the right side i marked at eight centimeters here and i'll mark it eight centimeters then i'll just i'm going to use a cap to give the rounded edges and i'm going to mark parallel lines between this point So in between, I'm going to use the cap and give this point rounded edges. The cover is pretty dark and I think you won't be able to appreciate the lines of the pen. But it forms a line like this. And I'm going to use an exacto knife and one piece at a time. I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to be a little patient and I think this would be the hardest part of the project because I'll be gradually going deeper and cut through this cardboard exactly in this shape. See, I've gone through. Similarly, I'll do the whole thing. Now, I have made the handles on the outer cover. Now, in goes the base case. And once it's tightly fitted in, I'm going to mark this. Now I'll cut these portions as well so that my hands go in. I am really sorry for the blurred footage for a little while. It gets better in a short time, I promise that. Now I have these two pieces and I have to glue them together to make one strong tray. So I'm adding glue to uh, one portion and fix it with the other. To give the tray more strength, I used some white paper tape around the edges, corners, handles and uh, in order to hold the two pieces really well together and the piece gets really strong now. For the next step and to give it a more united look so as to make the piece just one wooden piece like look I'm going to add some white tissue papers and using decoupage method uh, I'm using some mud podge or diluted white PVA glue and I'm adding a layer of white tissue paper 
and I'll cover them with a layer of Mod Podge all over the outer surface and the walls of the tray. Now this is how it looks after one layer of watch purge and tissue paper that is one layer of decoupage. I'm not very happy with the look after one layer of tissue paper using decoupage method so I added another layer of tissue paper now in a more constructed cutout strips uh, using more of PVA glue and mod podge and then I added two generous coats of white paint. It's all white, it's stiff, it's sturdy and very thick now. Now for this base I'm going to use this golden paper that I had and I'm going to measure and lay it below as the base using some glue. The base has a golden uh, paper and the sides are all white. It looks beautiful as such. But I'm going to add a little more to it. I'm going to use these jute strings and I'm going to tie them onto the handles. Just first uh, taped a little end of the jute and I'm going to go all around it. Add some glue. Till it's all covered and I'll fix with glue here. Here's the jute handle and this looks pretty neat and let's style the tray. I created a little vignette using my fresh made farmhouse tray from trash to treasure and it consists of two books, a little light, a little life in form of plant and some coasters again in jute and it looks awesome in my living room i'm loving what i created this looks so beautiful i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching and i hope you feel like making a tray for yourself too see you in my next video till then take care